Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of last year's best promos inside of FIFA 22 is returning for FIFA 23, and we have a lot of information to talk about related to that promo. I'll spill the beans. Winter Wild Cards. Of course, that was a brand new promo last year in FIFA 22, but so many people said it was the best of the entire year for the insane content, the swaps program, and just incredible SBC selection and upgrades to the cards in general. It made it an insane, insane promo. So we have some packs that are in the code that are kind of all of the rage right now in FIFA. That's what everybody is talking about and looking kind of a little bit ahead, right? This is not a promo that would be dropping this Friday. This is a promo and this is information about stuff that's maybe happening in two, three, four weeks from now that we just kind of heard about and saw yesterday because EA added this stuff to the code of the game. So we're gonna take a look at some pad code today and look a little bit in the future, but also what I wanna do is look at the here and now because we are expecting news about the World Cup Team of the Tournament promo, our last World Cup promo dropping this Friday. Just in two days from now, we should have a loading screen today and I think we might be having some leaks pretty soon as well. Foot Sheriff is kind of teasing us with one of his tweets from a couple hours ago. So I wanna take a look at that and of course, Take a look at yesterday's kind of L content day, but kind of crazy movements on the market with a lot of Argentinian cards going up in price because of their win yesterday. So we're going to take a look at everything in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive into this pack code and dive into these leaks because there is a lot to talk about. And first, what I want to talk about is this World Cup History Makers pack. If you don't know what this is, this is like a free pack basically that EA is going to be giving out between December 23rd and January 3rd. As long as you log on the game before January 3rd, you can get this pack. And what this pack is going to be is it's going to contain a lone icon or hero card and then a younger player from the same nation. Um, and it's called like World Cup History Makers. So I don't know if you guys remember the pink next gen card that we had last year with like Mbappe, Teo Hernandez, Christian Pulisic. Well, it's kind of the same thing with these History Makers cards. This year, you're going to get an untradeable um, History Makers player and then an icon or a hero on a seven match loan. But the low tier player, right? The actual untradeable player that you get, Mbappe, Van Dyke, Valverde, Felix, Bellingham. There's some good names in here and some pretty nice players. They're not going to be the same rating as their gold cards, in my opinion. They'll probably be a little bit toned back, but EA is upgrading these cards, which is very interesting. Um, we're going to get this pack here as, as, as soon as in nine days from now. December 23rd is the first time we could get this pack uh, that was added to the code. And then in January and February, they will be upgrading the ratings of the World Cup History Maker cards. So that's what this pack is right here. So be on the lookout and we'll talk about this again in like nine days or so to kind of, uh, again, since it'll be on the doorstep then, but that's what that pack is about. Now, again, looking into the future, a lot of these 81 plus packs, you're gonna see multiple of them in the code as we look through these packs here today. I think this pertains to a promo that would start right before team of the year. Like remember last year we had team of the year warm-up series. EA dro dropped a bunch of these packs that were positional based so that we could stack them and open them during the certain weeks or certain days that EA dropped team of the year cards. That's what I think those cards and those packs are for. Same thing with this foot 23 position players pack as it has forwards, midfielders, defenders, and a goalkeeper. But this page of packs right here, as you can see, has some really interesting and massive packs that have been added to the code. First of all, let's start with the 85 times 10 and the 83 times 25. This to me right here is setting off a memory in my mind of last year during the wintry months on FIFA 22. We had this promo, Winter Wild Cards. And even here on the website, it talks about an 85 times 10 because last year in FIFA 22, we had the first 85 times 10 of the year available through Winter Wild Cards swaps last year during Winter Wild Cards, right? That was the big part of the Wild Cards promo last year was the insane cards and packs, the great SBCs, but the first swaps program of the year. And this was like so new to us. And it was like, oh my goodness, it's like icon swaps, but even better, right? And that's why we've had so many swap programs across the end of last year. And even now into this year in FIFA 23, we've had one already with the World Cup swaps. Um, people love swaps. And this is where it all started last year with Winter Wildcards. Now, I believe that this 85-10 and the 83 times 
25 are a part of this winter wildcard swaps program. And if you take a look at a lot of these packs, right? I mean, even this one on the first page about the history makers, it's for like a week from now or a little over a week from now. It's like EA yesterday took the opportunity to add all these packs to the code that are probably going to happen in at least a week's time, um, especially with a lot of these swaps packs. So that's why I think the 8510 and the 83 times 25 pack are in here. Now, a little bit more about Winter Wild Cards. There were some leaks earlier on this year that footness was going to be a thing, but unfortunately, Donk has said that footness is not going to be a thing and that Winter Wild Cards actually is going to be a thing, even though there were three different card types for footness added to the code it is not going to be the festive promo this year and he even lays out some of the dates we have for the upcoming foot promos of course the last world cup team of the tournament this friday we'll talk more about that of course but then winter wild cards will be starting next friday right around the start of christmas probably a two-week promo then foot centurions and then after that team of the year so that's why we're kind of talking about winter wild cards today that's why we're kind of talking about what this pack code means because it seems like ea is thinking ahead a little bit as well so that's why we have all this information and we're talking through it now there's one pack that we haven't talked about here and it's the 88 plus mid or world cup icon pack and of course this is one that kind of honestly confuses me a little bit because EA is adding all of these packs that would probably be in a week from now, two weeks from now, but this 88 plus mid or World Cup icon, guys, I mean, this could be any time because think about it. We just had last week an 87 plus base or mid. Would EA jump to an 88 plus mid or World Cup icon pack right now at like as soon as this week? I think it can't be out of the question that they would go ahead and do so. Now, do I expect that pack to be dropped today, tomorrow? No, I don't. What I really think this might be is next Monday's upgrade pack SBC, right? We all know we saw it this past week with the Foot Hero World Cup upgrade. Mondays are the big upgrade SBC day. And since this upgrade pack is expiring in the next couple of days, the World Cup Hero upgrade is expiring on Thursday, it would be just perfect timing for EA Sports to drop that 88 plus mid or World Cup icon upgrade pack next week on Monday as our upgrade. And then they're just adding it to the code as they're adding all these other packs in for the ease of work, I guess, right? That is definitely a theory. Now, they could drop this pack at any time because again, the World Cup icons are all out in the game. Technically, some of them are still in packs, and I would think that EA would want to wait until all of the World Cup icons have been in packs before releasing an SBC to get them um, like in a gamble pack, but who knows? So that's the part of this pack code that's a little bit confusing because this could be an SBC either this week, either next week, or it could also just be a part of the Winter Wildcard Swap program that they're adding all these other packs in for, right? That's what is unknown but out of all the packs that have been added this is one of the ones that i would expect to see sooner rather than later so do you need to go out and invest in sbc fod right now because this pack might come today i don't think so um i wouldn't i would say it's got like a less than i don't know you know 20 percent chance if we could try to put a number on it of how likely this is to come between now and friday i feel like it's a slim chance unless ea are really trying to drain coins then I don't think it's going to be coming. But if you see tweets about it today that it is or um, anything like that, some more leaks, I mean, technically it is possible since it is now in the code. And it is a little early for them to add this sort of pack code um, if they, you know, we're going to wait at least a week or two to drop it. So I really don't know about this one, guys, but I think it seems to me that it would be like a next week SBC or a part of winter wildcard swaps we will just have to see i want to do that upgrade pack that sounds fun to me and i think it would sound fun to a lot of people as well so just kind of keep an eye out for more leaks on that and a little more information will probably come from there we also for the last couple packs had some more 81 pluses um and then a prime gaming pack as well so that's kind of a rundown of all the pack code that has been added but again i really feel like a lot of those 81 or uh the 85 times 10 and 83 times 25 have to do with the winter wild cards promo which is still a couple weeks away but worth talking about because again that's a promo that really changed the market last year in FIFA 23 and FIFA 22, I mean. And this year in 23, it's probably going to have some big market impact as well. I'm not saying you have to go sell cards right now or whatever, but while the market is, is good right now and the market is pretty healthy and prices are going up a lot, some of that could change two weeks from now when that promo is coming out. So just something to kind of put you know back in the mind, start to think about, start to 
just expect and know that that sort of stuff is coming soon. Now, let's kind of bring it back in and talk about what's going on right now in this game because today on Wednesday, as we keep it with a the theme of promos, we know what promo is coming on a Friday because EA, of course, have shown us on their website. We are finally down to the last promo on this list that they have shown, right? It's this one, and we know the name of it because we know the card design. It is the Team of the Tournament, right? That's the card design. It looks very similar to the like, um, like the Ake and the Fabinho and the Kingsley Coman that are in the World Cup swaps or World Cup stars cards that are in the swaps rewards, but it is different. It's more of a green color than fully red cards. So um, those cards are going to be players that have performed the best during the World Cup so far. And those are going to be kind of like a team of the group stage for the World Cup. So, uh, but it'll be for through the whole tournament, I guess. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because I believe we are going to see leaks of these cards today on Wednesday, and I believe we're going to see a loading screen today as well. Wednesdays are usually the days where EA like to debut a brand new loading screen. So watch out for that today as a part of Wednesday content. I'm going to be very interested to see um, what the card design looks like, if, if it matches the one that's on their website, and if they tell us any more information about this promo it seems pretty self-explanatory but um there could be some really really big names as a part of this promo as well and the reason i kind of think that is if you take a look at foot sheriff's twitter just a couple hours ago he just tweeted an eyes emoji right and this is something that the leakers have been doing on twitter you see eddie here says bro just say it right everybody wants to know what's the leaker saying with the eyes emoji right what's he got up his sleeve in my opinion I think that means we're getting a really, really big card this Friday as a part of the promo team. I think that card's Lionel Messi. I think Messi's going to get himself a card. He hasn't got a promo since the road to the knockouts earlier this year. And I think that Foot Sheriff has some leaks. And I think we're going to see some leaks today on Twitter. So watch out for that. Now, more Wednesday content. What could we see today in FIFA? He also leaked the official stats for Vlahovic, who is coming as a World Cup Phenom SBC. 86 pace, 90 shooting, 88 dribble. 85 physical of course it's not the most insane card ever but 90 shooting this would probably be a pretty solid striker in the game vlahovic does not i believe have any special cards this year unless he has an inform that i'm not remembering he does have an inform 86 rated vlahovic very lengthy card right but that's a solid upgrade for his card if we're going to 90 shooting 85 pace um, and I think 85 dribble, right? Was that on the lead card? 88 dribble. So we'll see if this card drops in the game today. It's either today or tomorrow, obviously, because this Foot Phenoms promo ends on Friday. So between today and tomorrow, I think we will see the Vlahovic dropped into the game. It seems like it maybe would be as early as today uh, because we had a showdown SBC yesterday, of course, for the game that is happening today between Morocco and France with Fofana and um the Enesri card, but um, I don't know what other player SPCs we have leaked besides the Huaney Chan that we never saw dropped on the weekend. I'm not sure where that leak is uh, and where that card is, but let's talk about more stuff that you could expect to see today on Wednesday and kind of what's going on with the market as well. Yesterday, of course, we have to talk about Path to Glories and what's going on in the market with these cards. Your Argentinian Path to Glories are two the moon specifically alejandro gomez now this is a very interesting situation with this card extinct at 1.4 million coins he's going to be a five star five star player and he still has potential for one more upgrade for three traits to be added if they end up winning the world cup final after they figure out who they're going to play after today's france morocco game but in my opinion, with the price range needed here on this card, price range update is needed, he's extinct. I think at this stage of the game, with how expensive these Path to Glory cards are, it is so, so risky to continue holding these because you are coming up to not just the end of the World Cup, you're coming up to the end of these cards getting potential upgrades, which is why they're so expensive in the first place. All the hype is based around these cards getting upgrades. So if you still have Griezmann, if you still have Nkunku, if you still have Romero, right? Romero as a path to glory card was a really, really good card to trade with yesterday, even after the game. Um, these cards, in my opinion, guys, I know they haven't got their last upgrades yet. Like Romero's going to get five-star skills, five-star, five-star center back. Dope, right? That's not really necessary, but he's going to get it. I would look to sell these guys really soon. I really, really would because 
with the winter wild cards promo upcoming and with these cards no longer having a live aspect to them even if they go on to win the world cup this romero card going to an 89 rated getting traits and being five star five star after they win the world cup there's no more hype for these cards they've achieved all their upgrades they're going to end up going down in value, especially a Romero like that who's been invested in a lot. Now, same thing goes for a guy like Nkunku as well, who's like almost 4 million. He's like 3.8, 3.7 right now. Um, yes, this card is five star, five star now. He has a plus one upgrade on the line if they beat Morocco um, today. So there's potential for this card to go higher, yes. But again, I really feel like we are near the peak for a lot of these path to glories for the ones that are still live. So just be very, very careful. Sell into the hype on those because I do think that in two weeks time, no matter even if the, the like if France wins the World Cup, I think Griezmann and Nkunku will be lower in two weeks time on the market than what they are right now, even having not eclipsed the full upgrade potential of those cards if they were to go win the World Cup. And that's just how I see it. Once the live aspect runs out of those cards, they're going to end up falling off. So be very, very careful with those and keep a close eye on those. But speaking of World Cup games, we had the showdown yesterday uh, of Argentina and Croatia. And the other side of the path to glory situation is Brozovic is down. His price is holding around 100,000 coins because people think that's around what he is worth after he was about 160K. Now, do I think he's worth about 100K? Maybe like 90 to 100,000 coins. I think that People are maybe pushing it just a little bit on how overpowered this card is. Yes, he looks really solid. I have not used him, so I can't speak too much about him. Um, but I think that card to me is probably going to drop off a little bit more in the next couple of weeks anyways. So I'd be careful owning that one. Um, now, yesterday, of course, after the Argentina win, I'm going to show you some prices. And you're like, wow, Nate, this is actually crazy. It's a thing, man. People go back on the market for the teams that are playing well. They go back out and they buy these cards. Messi yesterday was 65,000 coins. He went up to 75K where he is right now. As people watch the game, they saw Messi score and play well. And they're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go out onto the game and, and buy up Argentina cards and play with them because I just saw them play really well in real life. And probably people need to get links to the showdown. Enzo Fernandez, who is going to get a plus two, um, you know, because people are trying to link all these Argentinians in their team. You saw cards like the Lissandro Martinez, the Lataro Martinez rise up yesterday. Lissandro was about 170 right before the game started. Went all the way up to 185 where I was able to sell one. Now he's back down to 170. The, the Argentinian hype is everywhere. You can see even cards from like the storyline are being searched on Footbin as some of the most popular cards. Lautaro is up at 92K. He is up in price. One of the cards that I actually saw have a really big price swing yesterday was an icon Zanetti this uh Zanetti card was like I believe earlier in the week like 220,000 coins he is right now 275 280 the um mid Zanetti which is not even as good of a card is about 220 right now he was like 190,000 coins yesterday so a lot of these Argentinian links are rising in price it's actually a really good kind of opportunity to trade with them as people are going out and buying them for their teams and stuff and trying them out like this Martinez if I can snag him tonight at 170 this is the type of card that I would I would try to try and flip on this game right now try to try to flip him and trade with him because this is where the hype is trying out these cards that link together and it's kind of hard to link that Enzo Fernandez card anyway who's going to be getting the upgrade um, and since a lot of people did it as a cheaper SBC and expecting Argentina to win I think that's why you're seeing a lot of these movements on the market with some of these Argentinian players. Now for the rest of your World Cup phenoms, um, I still think their prices are gonna kind of maintain where they've been at. Some of these guys went up a little bit yesterday. A lot of them just were kind of stagnant. They kind of floated around, didn't move that much. They were able to be traded with, of course, but like there wasn't a ton of profit. Yesterday was a pretty stagnant day on the market, if I'm being completely honest, with a lot of stuff. Um, unless you were able to, tr to find the quick, quick, quick flip fluctuations and trades, there was definitely stuff you could do. But a lot of the market was just either slowly rising or a little bit stagnant. And I think today would be more of the same unless we have massive massive leaks that would get people so excited to like 
sell these cards for whatever promo is coming up and whatever players are in the next promo, uh, I think these cards should maintain their price as well um, and maybe even continue going up just a little bit more uh, into the latter stages of this week. So don't worry about these cards. If you have SBC fodder, I would hold that as well. Continue to list for lazies. I mean, today on Wednesday, Wednesdays before have been days where we've gotten, uh, you know, some sort of like gamble pack SBC, like a a campaign bag or something along those lines hopefully ea have something in that realm to spice it up today for content as well we will just have to see but again i think the market's probably going to be pretty quiet again today and you can tell i've got a lot of coins invested right now um, in quick flips right and trying to trade with a lot of these cards and i've gotten some lazy sales carvajal at 130 he's usually 100 and like 15,000 coins a jack Grealish. The, the sales are coming kind of slowly because the, the market's a little bit slow but it's just been a good time to trade and to flip cards uh i bought this cafu on bid for 741 he's about 780 right now i'm gonna hopefully try to get like 820 for this card you know just doing the quick flips and this sort of stuff while the market is up as it is right now to be able to make some coins so that's what i would continue doing if you're on the market watch for open bids watch for fluctuations and watch for those argentinian cards that seem to have a little bit of extra demand right now on the market because of how they performed irl in the world cup yesterday so that's kind of a roundup of what's going on on fifa right now we're going to get a lot of information i think today about the friday promo and we'll probably talk a lot about that in tomorrow's video but today i wanted to bring you the up-to-date information about what's going on with that pack code and winter wild cards those big promos that are coming ahead so if you did enjoy the video today smash the thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the photo count and i'll catch you guys later peace out